I hereby declare this special commencement of the College of Medicine, the State University of New York, Downstate Health Sciences University, and its predecessor institutions, the Long Island College of Medicine and the Collegiate Division of the Long Island College Hospital in session. Dean of the College of Medicine, Dr. F. Charles Brunicardi. Good afternoon to all, President Riley, our guests, Dr. Putman, and our faculty who are participating with us virtually, to the 37 members of the class of 2020 who have graciously agreed to heed Governor Andrew Cuomo's call to graduate early and assist in the caring of patients, to the families and loved ones joining us, the 160th class of Downstate, and all who have joined us today. It is my pleasure to be with all of you to celebrate this joyous occasion for our graduates in the College of Medicine. Today celebrates your achievement and marks a beginning. I urge you to go out into the world and use your talents and the education you gained at SUNY Downstate to commit to yourselves to the career that you have chosen, that of a doctor. I'm reminded that no one can complete what each of you graduates has achieved without the support and encouragement of others, many of whom are here today, including your families and loved ones, and the faculty and staff of Downstate who are joining with us virtually. We thank you all. To all of our graduates today, we are so proud of you, and we wish you much success in your career. Thank you. President Wayne J. Riley. Good afternoon to all in attendance today, including our honored guests, members of our downstate faculty, family, friends, and of course, our graduates. Members of the class of 2020, you've worked hard to reach this milestone, earning the respect of the faculty and your colleagues along the way. For you, it is extra special in that you have volunteered to stand up following Governor Cuomo's call to enter the workforce early. Today, little different is still your day, and I am proud to celebrate it with you and your loved ones, even though we can't be together in person. Now, graduates, while today represents the culmination of your journey as students, it is also the point at which you begin a new one that will be as intensely challenging always changing and personally rewarding. The support and encouragement of your family and loved ones has no doubt contributed to what you have achieved. I think we can all agree that they deserve recognition and thanks from all of us. And of course, we should not forget the grandparents, spouses, and partners. You deserve special recognition as well. We must also recognize children, brothers, sisters, aunts, and uncles who helped make today a joyous occasion for our graduates. We recognize and thank you all. Now, we know that your hard work would likely have been in vain without the amazing members of the faculty. So I want to thank each member of the Downstate faculty for your role in guiding our graduates to this great day. Now, graduates, I know that as you take the next steps, you will continue to accomplish great things. As healthcare continues to change, the demand for bright, caring, and compassionate physicians will no doubt during this pandemic, not only during this pandemic, rather, but also in general. That is why I'm so proud to have all 37 of you join the ranks of our alumni this afternoon. So we expect that you will all go out and make not only yourselves and your families proud, but you will also make your alma mater proud as well. We are so proud of you. Members of the class of 2020, you have been well prepared to meet the challenges ahead. Know that everyone here at Downstate and all joining us online today wish you well, and congratulations. Mr. Antonio Stamopoulos, member of the graduating class of the College of Medicine. Good afternoon, everyone, and thanks for logging on. President Riley, Dean Brunicardi, Dean Putman, distinguished members of the faculty and administration, 
family, friends, and fellow graduates, it is an honor to share this day with you all. Right now, many of us had hoped to be enjoying our last several weeks as medical students, traveling to new places, spending time with family and friends, maybe experiencing new things in Brooklyn before venturing off to new parts of the city, state, and country for residency. That's except for the very awesome 22 of you who are staying at Downstate. Go Downstate. Instead, we find ourselves mostly at home with a virtual match day and an early virtual commencement, ridden with the uncertainty of this challenging time in our world while anxiously waiting to help combat this pandemic ourselves. But, my fellow classmates, we must not let the current situation detract from celebrating all the hard work, resilience, and dedication we have demonstrated over the past four years. Together, we endured medical school during a time of amazing innovation and unreal breakthroughs that unfortunately for us meant for thicker textbooks, longer lectures, and more questions to be answered. Throughout these past four years, we have been on the front lines of a changing universe of medicine in patient care, research, volunteering, teaching, and leading. Now, during a pandemic that has affected nearly every human being in the world, our work on the front lines will continue as newly minted physicians. The learning curve is steeper for us than many others can speak to for their own transition into residency, but we are prepared thanks to the excellent education and experience we received at Downstate. Even during a crisis like this, one of the most important things that I learned during my time at Downstate is that nothing is as important as fighting for our patients. The patients you will be caring for in the next few months will need you more than they have ever needed you before. As Hippocrates so clearly idealized, we must continue a habit of doing no harm. All the anatomy, physiology, pathology, pharmacology, and problem-solving knowledge that we have that we gained should give us the confidence and grit to accomplish this mission throughout the rest of our lives. We have all pursued our destinies of becoming physicians and have succeeded. It is now up to us to enter this world and practice to the standards that Hippocrates and Downstate have aspired us to strive for. I will miss working with all of you in medical school. However, I look forward to working with you all of you again in the future. Thank you, Antonios. Dr. F. Charles Brunicardi, Dean of the College of Medicine. Thank you, Marshall Putnam. Will the candidates for the, med for the degree of Doctor of Medicine please rise? President Riley, as Dean of the College of Medicine, and in the name of the faculty and by the virtue of its authority, I have the distinct honor to present these candidates for the degree of Doctor of Medicine who have volunteered to graduate early in order to serve our fellow citizens in the state of New York and beyond. Upon completion of the curriculum, they will have satisfied the requirements and have been recommended by the faculty of the College of Medicine of the State University of New York, Downstate Health Sciences University, and deemed worthy of that degree. Marshall Putman, would you please read the names of our graduates? Dr. Zachary M. Adler. Dr. Maisam Tamar Begum. Dr. Connor David Berlin. Dr. Ashley Bola. Dr. Thomas Birchfield. Dr. Clifford Bin Chow, Dr. Regina Chang, Dr. Michael Danziger, Dr. Brendan Denvir, Dr. Alexandra Inez Sophia Diggs, Dr. Antonios Dimitri Dimopoulos, Dr. Kira Francis Dumlele, Dr. Alyssa Victoria Eid. Dr. Aaron Edward Igelko, Dr. Michael James Ferrino, Dr. Melanie Ya Gao, Dr. Danielle Joy Gordon, Dr. Shelley Jane, Dr. Mert Kamal Kicelli, Dr. Joshua Don Luvion, Dr. Katie Lee. Dr. Ujeni Alize Gili 
Lehom Brasha. Amelia, Dr. Ru Amelia Ruth Levy, Levi. Dr. Zhao Wei Liu. Dr. John Kabir Lebs. Dr. Kyle Peter Michelson. Dr. Sean Michael Mooney. Dr. Justina Lawrence Ray. Dr. Samuel Reisman. Dr. Nicholas Joseph Santanilo. Dr. Theago Serion. Dr. Jonathan Lee Smirling. Dr. Karthik Sai Sridhara. Dr. Oriana Fay Tashion. Dr. Christopher John Tenorio. Dr. Joseph Yu. And Dr. Ming Zhu. Graduates, by virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees of the State University of New York, upon completion of all degree requirements, I now confer upon each of you whose name appears in the diplomas the degree Doctor of Medicine, with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities appertaining thereto. Congratulations, Doctor. President Wayne J. Riley. Doctors, in fulfillment of the traditional role as president, one of which I greatly relish, I will address a few final remarks to the graduates. However, please first allow me to thank all of you for joining us today remotely and for sharing this afternoon with us and our graduates. I also thank and congratulate the families and friends of our graduates. Your support has been paramount, not only for our graduates, but also to their professors and the thousands of people whose lives they will touch throughout their careers. I'm now pleased to deliver this charge to the class of 2020. Doctors, dissemination of new knowledge, care of patients and communities, guiding and developing new discoveries in the lab and addressing public health issues of our lifetime are but a few of the challenges the downstate faculty have well prepared you for as you depart from this magnificent hall and out to an endless future. And so as you take your rightful place in the days and months ahead of transition, allow me to offer a few words of advice and counsel. Doctors, don't be awed by the bigness of problems that beset our nation and our world, that you are blinded to the opportunities before you. Doctors, don't bite off more than you can chew, but once you sink your teeth into an issue that's on your mind or your responsibility, don't you dare stop until you've had enough. Doctors, be humble as you, the physicians among you, make daily decisions that spell the difference between life and death. Always remember that you are the created and not the creator. You belong to the universe, but you are not the center of the universe. When you enter a room, don't say, here I am. Say, how can I help you? In other words, seek to serve rather than to be served. Be carefree, but not careless. Learn to manage the inevitable stress that comes with the territory. Exercise, meditate, sit beneath the sky and wink back at the stars. As you do so, seek wisdom and guidance because each of you will be tested relentlessly every day of your professional life as a physician. On a personal note, I am eternally grateful that you chose to come to Downstate Health Sciences University. Now, perhaps you haven't heard this as much as you wanted to, but these words are spoken from the heart. Graduates, if there had been no you, there would be no us. Thank you sincerely for bringing your special brand of joy and excitement to Downstate Health Sciences University. And may you and yours enjoy good luck, good fortune, and good health. Doctors, as is custom, it is now time for me to administer the time-honored Hippocratic Oath to the class of 2020. 
Will the graduates of the College of Medicine, wherever you are, please rise? From time immemorial, the medical profession has dedicated itself to the welfare of humanity through a code of ethics known as the Hippocratic Oath. And this are the tradition and heritage of the physician. I will now administer it to you. Repeat after me. I do solemnly swear by that which I hold most sacred that I will be loyal to the profession of medicine and just and generous to its members, that I will lead my life and practice my art in the uprightness and honor, that whatever house I shall enter, it shall be for the good of the sick to the utmost of my power, that I will hold myself aloof from wrong, that I will exercise my art solely for the cure of my patients and will give no drug nor perform no operation for a wrongful purpose, that whatever I shall see or hear of the lives of men and women that should not be spoken, I will keep secret. These I do promise. And in proportion as I am faithful to this, my oath, may happiness and good repute be ever mine. Congratulations, members of the class of 2020. President Riley, I declare these commencement exercises concluded. Congratulations. <laughs>